My name is Grace Kemp from www.scriptureseries.com. This is the third and final uh, section of our talking about Zedekiah uh, and the book of Lamentations. Who is the author of Lamentations? I maintain it as Zedekiah, the last king of Judah, and the preceding uh, segments uh, have given you the background. Um, when I began my search, I took a copy of the Book of Lamentations, I made a copy, and cut it up into 117 different verses. And then I went looking for clues within, in those, uh, that pile, and I tried to match them up with uh, clues in particularly Jeremiah and Ezekiel that prophesied about Zedekiah. And I found it a complete match all the way down. Um, for example, it says in um, Jeremiah, Zedekiah will be a reproach and proverb, a taunt, and a curse. In other words, people are going to make fun of him, particularly the Jews. And the author of Lamentations says, I was a derision to my people and their song all the day. In other words, he fit that description, that prophetic description. Certainly Jeremiah did not fit that prophetic description. Uh, it says that the king, uh, or the writer of, uh, of Lamentations would be bereaved. The king of Babylon slew the ten sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. He slew the princes of Judah. Correction, ten sons. I'll take that back. It, uh, I don't think it names the number of sons. But the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. He slew the princes of Judah. Um, and from the dark dungeon uh, in, in Babylon, uh, Zedekiah says, um, My children are desolate because the enemy has prevailed. Those I have swaddled and brought up hath mine enemy consumed, which means destroyed. Now it was predicted that the children of Zedekiah would be put to death before his eyes, and the author of Lamentation is mourning for his children from the dungeon that he brought up from babyhood. They were not somebody else's children. They were swaddled and brought up, and they'd been destroyed. Jeremiah never married. He never had children. So certainly Jeremiah couldn't say that. And then we have the fact that the author of Lamentation was blinded. It says, uh, the author of Lamentation says, He led me and made me go in darkness and not light. He pulled, tore me in pieces, and he made me desolate. He hath set me in dark places as they that be dead of old. Now that's a description of blindness. I'm going in darkness, not in light. And it was prophesied, uh, that's the author saying that. It was prophesied of Zedekiah that he would be led to Babylon, yet shall he not see it, though he shall die there. Why should, would he not see it if he was there? Because he was blinded before he went. And so uh, that matches Zedekiah. It doesn't match Jeremiah. Uh, the author of Lamentation is in a dungeon. He says, um, it was prophesied that they will put Zedekiah in prison till the day of his death. He was taken in their pit. They put him in ward into holes. And the author of Lamentation said, they have cut off my life in the dungeon and cast a stone upon me. The anointed, which is the king himself, was taken in their pits. He hedged me about, and I cannot get out. He enclosed me with a hewn stone. I'm in a low dungeon. So the prophecy fits uh, Zedekiah. It doesn't fit Jeremiah. Now, Jeremiah was in a pit briefly in Jerusalem. Uh, but it says, um, in Jeremiah's pit, there was no water but mire. Now, Zedekiah in Babylon is also in a pit, but it's not the same one, because Zedekiah says, water flowed over my head. So those are two different pits. Uh, Jeremiah was released from his pit, but Zedekiah died in, in the pit. Um, the author of, of um, Lamentations is saying, is mourning for his wives that have gone into captivity and are afflicted. Now they were taken into the harem of the princes of Babylon. Um, it was prophesied of Zedekiah that all the women in the kings of, of Judah's house shall be brought to the king of Babylon's princes, all the wives and the children to the Chaldeans. 
And that's exactly what happened. And the author of Lamentations is bemoaning the fact that he has none of his lovers or wives to comfort him. That would never be said of Jeremiah because Jeremiah never had a wife and certainly didn't have lovers. He had no harem. Uh, the author of Lamentations had rebelled. Um, Zedekiah had been a terrific rebel, uh, resisting advice of Jeremiah for years. And finally he repents in the dungeon and said, I have rebelled against his commandment. I have grievously rebelled. We have transgressed and rebelled. And Zedekiah, according to Jeremiah, rebelled against the king of Babylon. So there's really no question. Uh, the book itself proves that it is a mournful diary and account of the lament of Zedekiah. Um, the, the real blessing is, though, that part of the prophecy that came from uh, Jeremiah and Ezekiel included the fact that the Lord would come to meet Zedekiah in his prison. And sure enough, thou drew near in the day that I called upon thee. Thou said, Fear not, O Lord, thou hast pleaded the causes of my soul. Thou hast redeemed my life. So in Zedekiah, in that dark, dank prison in Babylon, truly repented. The, the Lord himself came to him, comforted him, and gave him a hope. And he ended up by saying, Great is thy faithfulness. So we have a faithful God who will forgive the darkest, deepest sinner who truly repents and turns to him in repentance and faith. May the Lord bless you all.